Elegantly simple complexity. One connection we have to every other living thing is our cellular makeup. Within each cell is a world of complexity that boggles the imagination. It's hard to fathom how the structures, machines, transportation, communication, and manufacturing could possibly work. And it does it seamlessly and effortlessly at a level of complexity and detail that defies explanation. This video is designed to reveal a hint of the cell's complexity, but more importantly, it will show that the cell could not have come about by natural causes. The initial step in making proteins is to transfer the DNA information to RNA. This process is called transcription. The process of transcription requires the perfect sequential binding of several proteins to the DNA. When the proteins are assembled in exactly the correct order and way, the process of making a protein begins when RNA polymerase takes off down the DNA strand. Coming into the RNA polymerase are the individual RNA building blocks or nucleotides. Meanwhile, out of the RNA polymerase goes a string of RNA, an exact copy from the section of DNA. That section that is copied is called a gene and it is used as the information template from which a protein is made. A strand of RNA made from the DNA is sent with the help of other proteins to a two-part molecular machine called the ribosome. This is where the translation takes place. We are looking now at how the amino acids are assembled to make a protein. The RNA string or gene provides the code for which amino acid is to be used. The amino acids are assembled in an exact order. If the order is wrong, it would be like dialing a wrong number on the phone, and the whole protein would not work. Even if the order is correct, the protein must also be folded into a specific shape, aided by protein molecular machines called chaperones. These chaperones are commonly barrel-shaped. The immaturely folded string of amino acids enters the chaperone and is folded into its proper shape. Then the chaperone releases the newly formed protein into the cell. So again, we see that the manufacture of proteins requires proteins. The ribosome, which synthesizes the amino acids, is partially made up of proteins. The chaperones, which fold and protect the proteins, are also made up of proteins. And, as was shown in the beginning of this video, the transcription process also requires numerous proteins. Therefore, the process for producing highly sophisticated protein machinery without the use of pre-existing proteins is not possible in any amount of time. The best explanation is that it was designed by God God created organisms, insects, plants, fish, birds, animals, and humans fully formed. It's absolutely the best explanation of the available evidence. To learn more about evolution and the evidence for design, go to www.evidencepress.com.